Alright, now question 4. A fixed mass of ideal monoatomic gas is contained in a cylinder. The cylinder volume can be varied by moving a piston in or out. So the volume can be changed. It says here volume can be changed. The volume is not fixed. The piston can move. The piston is movable. Yeah. So um uh they say the, the volume can be changed, especially the volume can be changed. So this is definitely not isochoric. And this is definitely not isochoric, yeah. Uh isochoric definitely not. Okay, because he says um the volume can be changed. So definitely not isochoric process where volume is constant. Okay, the piston is movable, yeah, not fixed. Okay, the gas has initial volume 0 0.03 meter cube at 100 kilopascal pressure and temperature initially is 300 Kelvin. Okay, so we have the initial condition already. We have the initial volume, so we have V1, we have pressure P1, we also have temperature T1. We have everything. We have pressure, we have pressure, volume and temperature. For initial condition and everything in SI you need meter cube uh, kilopascal need to change to Pascal and in Kelvin uh, especially the temperature in this chapter in this chapter the temperature need to be in Kelvin okay, need to be in Kelvin so um, okay temperature so it's cool at constant pressure okay this already tell us what kind of process this is a constant pressure. Constant pressure means isobaric. Uh, it's an isobaric process. Okay. Uh, you know how to spell isobaric? It's bar. Isobaric process. Uh, until the volume is... Uh, so you see, it's being cooled. Uh, it's being cooled. That means the temperature drop. Uh, temperature drop. Uh, being cool until the volume become uh, this is the final volume put as V2 okay 0 0.06 now find the final temperature that means I want to find the uh, T2 I want to find the final temperature so let us find out okay before we do uh, I always like to uh, gather the information in columns first of all yes another thing I missed out is uh, this is a uh, sorry and I think another thing I miss out is this one. Uh, monoatomic. He said this is a monoatomic gas, so that means only has three degree freedom. It only has three degree of freedom. Now, uh, okay, I always like to gather the information in two columns. Okay, in two columns. Uh, monoatomic, uh, monoatomic, first of you know, monoatomic is uh, degree freedom three. Okay, degree freedom three. And then the first condition and second condition. Yeah, I like to gather information. I like to gather the information first before we start to do calculation. Yeah, it's be a systematic person. Yeah, gather the information first. So um, the first situation we have uh, pressure, volume, and temperature. Yeah, V one, P one, T one. Uh, all change to SI unit. Yeah, uh, like uh, this one already meter cube. Good. But kilopascal, kilo is exponent 3. Uh, you need to change to exponent 3. Uh, must be in SI unit. So pascal, uh, kilopascal must change to pascal. And then temperature in Kelvin. Okay, already in Kelvin, so no worries. Yeah? If degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. So now it is already Kelvin, so no problem. So now uh, final volume. V2 is 0 0.006. Uh, so this we get the final volume. And this is a constant pressure process. Constant pressure. Uh, because of constant pressure. So P1, the pressure 1 equal to pressure 2. And uh, because of constant pressure, pressure 1 must be equal to pressure 2. So this is an isobaric process where constant pressure. Okay. So what is the final temperature? Yeah, you ask for T2, final temperature. So how? 
So this is isobaric process. Okay, already identified for isobaric process, pressure is constant. Pressure is constant. So volume and temperature changing. Uh, pressure is constant. So pressure is constant. So volume and temperature must be changing. Uh, so when volume and temperature changing, means we use a formula V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2, which is Charles law to find the final temperature. Okay, so make sure already in SI unit, especially the temperature must be in Kelvin uh, before we substitute. Okay, so uh, volume also meter cube. Okay, good. Already SI unit. So just substitute uh, 0 0.010 over uh, 300 Kelvin or already in SI unit, 300 Kelvin. And then volume 2 is 0 0.006. And over temperature 2. Okay, let's find out our temperature 2. Let's find out our temperature 2. So, after calculate, I got the answer 180 Kelvin. Yeah, so this is the final temperature, 180 Kelvin. Maybe we can just write, just top up, top up the information here, 180 Kelvin. So easy for us to retrieve the information later on if we need it. Okay. So I top up the information here. I already got the temperature also of uh, condition 2. Now, uh, let us find the uh, work done on the gas. Oh, work done on the gas. So that means, uh, uh, he says the work done on the gas. That means the gas no work. Uh, gas does not do any work. So this should be a negative work done. Uh, negative work done. So is it true? Negative work done? Work done on the gas, how to find? Okay, let us, uh, to find the work done, find the work done. Work done is actually, is the area under the graph. Area of PV graph. Uh, so work done on the gas is re related to the graph, the PV graph. So uh, we must draw the PV graph first uh, for a clearer picture of how the work done, how the area of uh, area of uh, the graph looks like. Okay, because the area of PV graph is the work done. So let us draw the PV graph to identify the work done. Okay, so this is a pressure volume, uh, pressure volume uh, graph. Alright, so um, first of all, uh, let us uh, just use the information we already gathered here. So start from condition 1, then go to condition 2. Condition 1, it has volume 1, okay, which is volume 1 uh, here, 0 0.010. Uh, and also pressure 1, uh, 100 kilopascal or exponent 3 pascal. Okay. Uh, temperature 300 Kelvin. So that means we can say uh, it is at the isothermal line of uh, temperature 1, which is uh, 300 Kelvin. Alright, 300 Kelvin. Now, uh, uh, it's being cooled. Right? It's being cooled. And then uh, you can see the volume is being uh, is decreasing. Yeah? Volume decreasing. So the graph go to the left. Uh, the graph go to the left because uh, the volume decrease. Volume decrease. Uh, you see? The, from here, V1 to V2, the volume has decreased. So this is a compression. Uh, this is a com compression. Yeah? Compression has happened. The volume decrease. So the graph go to the left. Because of volume decrease, yeah? volume decrease or compression. So from 0 0.01, it becomes 0 0.006. And 0 0.01 becomes 0 0.006. So graph go to the left. Uh, and then the temperature also from 300 drop to 180. That means uh, the point 2, it is at, situated at a lower isotherm line. It is situated at lower isotherm line, 180 Kelvin. Okay, uh, this, uh, this is a lower isothermal line at lower temperature because you say it cooled already. Yeah? Uh, 
uh, from 300 Kelvin cool to 180. Okay, uh, but that's not our business. We want to find, question two, we want to find the work done. So the work done is area under PV graph. So our graph is a horizontal isobaric graph. Okay, this is an isobaric process. Uh, this is a uh, isobaric process. So isobaric process has constant pressure, constant pressure, which is 100 kilopascal. Okay, constant pressure. So that means pressure 1 equal to pressure 2. Same pressure, maintain a constant pressure. Uh, just the volume decrease and temperature also decrease. So, um, what is the area under this rectangle shape? Because area under the graph is the work done. Uh, yeah, this uh, horizontal graph, uh, the, you will get a rectangular area. So, this uh, is the work done for isobaric process. So, the formula for uh, work done for isobaric process, which is a rectangle, is pressure times delta U. Uh, delta V, delta volume. Okay, so just use the pressure multiplied by the uh, delta V, which is a uh, final minus initial V two minus V one. Okay, uh, so P delta V means P equal to V two minus V one. So V two is the final. We must always use final minus initial. Yeah, two is final, one is initial. We must always use final minus initial. You cannot be initial minus final. Uh, wrong, huh? So, um, so let us continue by solving these questions. Okay, shall we? So, what is the pressure? Pressure is a, uh, um, yeah, uh, one hundred exponent three, and then uh, volume two. Volume 2 is 0 0.006. Then volume 1 is 0 0.010. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so let us substitute. Uh, let us calculate. Sorry. Let us calculate. And what answer do we get? Okay. My substitution is correct. So after calculate, I got the answer. Uh, the work done is negative. 400 joule. Ah, so what does it mean by uh, negative work done? That means this is work done. Anyway, this is a uh, compression what? Compression means uh, negative work done. When volume decrease, uh, when volume decrease, uh, this one meaning the negative work done. Okay? When volume decrease or compression means negative work done. Means work done on the gas. So when neg when negative work done means uh, work done on gas on gas. So somebody co has compressed the gas. It's a work done on gas. Uh, work done on the gas. Okay, uh, work done on the gas. The uh, gas does not do any work. Huh? The gas does not no work from gas. No work from gas. So no work from gas. Negative work done. Work done on gas. Compress the gas. Okay, so that is the uh, negative 400 joule compression. And this is uh, because of compression or volume decrease. Now, uh, that, that is the work done. Now, let us find the number of moles. The number of moles of gas. How to find the number of moles of gas? More of gas, uh, which is the uh, N, okay, uh, which is a uh, symbol N. So, how to find the number of mole? Uh, we use PV equal to NRT. We use PV equal to NRT. Okay, we've got the number of mole here, yeah, we've got the number of mole here. So, now um, we already have uh, P1, V1, and T1. So, we can find the number of moles. Okay, let's, uh, you can either use P, uh, the situation 1 or situation 2. If you use situation 2, there will be P2, V2, T2. Uh, you also already got the P2, V2, 
P2 and T2. I uh, really got the T2 also. P2 is the same as P1 because isobaric process, constant, pre constant pressure. So all the other values uh, you use, you substitute here. You also can find the number of mole. Okay, this one also, uh, this one also workable. So, but uh, we uh, continue with the first situation, yeah, right away. So uh, it is a uh, hundred, sorry, hundred thousand Pascal. Okay, already in SI unit. Uh, volume also already in SI unit. Zero point uh, already in meter cube. EV equal to nRT. So we want to find the number of mole. Yeah? Uh, which is a uh, three uh, R is eight point three one. So what is our temperature one? 300 Kelvin. Okay, already in Kelvin. So what is the number of mole? So what is the number of mole after I calculate? Okay. Um, yeah, it's correct. So I got a number of mole 0 0.401 mole. Okay. That's the number of mole. That's a number of mole, or you can also use the P two V two and R T two using this uh, second situation uh, value substitute. You also will get number of mole equal to 0 .0, 0 0.401 mole. You will get the same answer. Yeah, both work both ways will work. Okay, so uh, that's the number of mole okay, using P V equal and R T. So uh. Yeah, that's it for these questions. Thank you. See you in the following questions.